Hey guys, and welcome to the Atlas Reactor Tournament Finals, sponsored by Tryon Worlds. I am your host, the Rail Underscore McCoy, and we are going to be live streaming the finals today. I wanted to give a big thank you again to everybody that's involved. The Blue Muzzy, who is also known as the community manager of Tryon Worlds. We also have Solaris, who organized the tournament. We also have Pepper Titan, Hellfire. And my fellow shoutcaster Lothans. So we're going to be getting today. Um, I wanted to again thank everyone for participating. Um, all the players. We're going to be using Awesome Sauce's stream today. So make sure to drop him some love uh, before we start. But then again guys. We are going to be starting here soon. So we will be introducing the players. The teams. And don't forget. We are at the Atlas Reactor Tournament Finals. Hello, things. We had done our intro. We have had our little check-in. That prep phase will be our little move list to look into. Visual and Addiction, our venue today. And Lothans. We have two teams that made it to our finals thus far in our Atlas Reactor tournament. Indeed, they have. Thank you so much, McCoy. We got, on the red side, Trash with uh, Team Captain Avaki with some major... Cranor and Seffield. They've won three games to get here, so they started all the way back in round one. They did not get a bye. They beat Bombing Run, not in the face, and cheer up to get here. And on the blue side, we've got Just Shoot 'em, Team Captain Awesome, Zoss, Hacksaw, Anathomical, and Bud Bro. They've won twice, so they did get that first round bye, but they did beat That Just Happened and TAWs. So it's going to be an amazing matchup, guys. So you got to keep tuned in. Welcome to the show. McCoy and I, I am Lothans, are going to be casting this for you, trying to entertain you as the action happens. Um, why don't we start off, man? Who do you think is going to win, brother? Um, not going to lie, I'm kind of rooting for, you know, Avaki and his Knicks. Well, yesterday... We saw the semifinals between Trash and Cheer Up. And Nyx, they did lose anyway to Trash. Of course, that's why Trash is here. But Ivaki could not touch Nyx either of those games. We'll see. Maybe that's going to happen again this time because he is known as the Nyx guy. So uh, they may try to take him down right then and there. I'm curious to think what the viewers, who the viewers think is going to take this championship away, man. We got a three game series coming up so it could be a two game sweep could be a best of, you know could go all the way to the third game but who is going to win let us know in the in the stream chat we want to hear from you yeah guys definitely if you guys know of any of the players that we have uh team trash they are in the blue i believe correct they're going to be red side red. This time. yeah avaki how can i forget you um, I'm kind of wanting to see Avaki go Nyx again, just for the fact. He's such a good Nyx. He's always in in the Shroud of War, and he comes out, puts down good damage, and constantly has his... Uh, I know we're getting more encoding errors here. Cut in real quick. Yeah, we ahead. actually got the reserves for both teams. Just Shudem right. is reserving Nyx, and then Trash is reserving Lockwood, actually. So no Knicks for the McCoy. You wanted to see it, but it's not going to happen. At least, at least game one. They could change it up for game two. But we're not going to see the Avaki Knicks this time, as well as yesterday. So everybody kind of scared of that one for sure. I did get to see a garrison last match, which I was super happy about. So I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to continue to utilize uh, a different meta than what we saw last time. But I saw a lot of Rask between the matches. Um big helio fan so i'm hoping to see him because he's like you guys mentioned he's one of two champions that even allows um to do the scramble which is a huge huge <laughs> uh having been in silence for that long for x amount of turns uh in this game where turns are pretty much crucial uh i i, I definitely think we should see helio in this match Trying to get out. Helio, our, on a side uh, note, is is by far one of my favorite freelancers. 
I mean, Quark is definitely more um, supporty, I guess, than Helio, but I think he brings more utility to the team overall. Uh, yesterday we saw both teams, Team Trash and Team Cheer Up, in the semifinal matches. Both of them, both teams ran Aurora for both games on both sides. So it was very interesting. We, had, we saw no Helios yesterday and uh, no Quarks either. Quark was reserved against Pancake, which is kind of her uh, her freelancer, or who she's known for. So kind of obvious there. We're going to see two pups on out of this. That would be, or I think are they, they're trolling the pre-champ select. Oh yeah, they're trolling the hell out of us. Here we go, triple lock wood pup, best comp in A. Alright, so I've actually gotten the team comps from both teams. So, just shoot em actually is going with Ellie, Nyx, Helio, and Garrison. I think the first Ellie in the entire tournament, so that's going to be interesting. And then Trash's team is Aurora, Rask, Lockwood, and Gray. I think exactly what they've been running their past games. They found it to be pretty solid, and they just keep using what works. Absolutely. They 2 owed um, Cheer Up yesterday in their semifinal match with that exact same team comp. So they must be really keen on that one. Of course, don't fix it if it ain't broke. But uh, we did hear from Avaki after the second match. He did say they have a few things they want to try out in the finals. So perhaps if they lose the first game, they're going to have to pull out those secret strats on us and give us a good show. I had a chance to see the game yesterday. Um, but from what I understood, it's uh, been nothing but good things and great things for this community and things that have been happening. So just like, again, just big thanks to you guys again for having me in the, you know, the Kool-Aid dance party. Oh, yeah. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Do not drink Stay the Kool-Aid. Stay away from it. So it appears here that they're, they're, they're going through their move list here. And as we're we're talking about the game, these are this is the abilities and mods portion, which actually affects how certain abilities react in the game. Um, it doesn't change their abilities. It just kind of changes how they, they react. Like I know when I was playing with Pup, I have a particular um, mod on my ability to where when he uses his cloak, he also dashes. So it effectively definitely makes him hard to track down <clears throat> uh but right away uh i'm seeing garrison helio which i'm super happy about and a nyx which i'm you know i'm looks like i'm gonna get to see one anyway it's just not gonna be out of avaki but avaki going with right, gray right. this could be really scary i'd like to see him on the offensive this game see what he does when he is constantly like hey i'm out in the open i know you see me but i see you too that's Basically how Grey plays is she's able to put vision down, reveal reveal players, and she also has a little bit of range as well. Avaki on Grey yesterday was devastating in game one against the Knicks. Uh, it was turn five they took down the Knicks player because of the reveals for Grey. He couldn't get away. There was no chance. So let's see if he can do the same thing here. He's going up against another Knicks. He knows exactly what Knicks is like to do because he is the Knicks man. And we're getting into the game. Let's get hype. All right, here we go. Final match, game one. Awesome sauce. Thank you for the coverage and streaming. Uh, we appreciate it. I will also work with you after the game to work with your Twitch settings, get you all set up. Perfecto. Um, but on Team Blue, we got Hacksaw76 as Garrison, Anatomical as Knicks, Awesome Sauce as Ellie. And Agrian is Helio. And on Team Red, Avaki, my favorite. Uh, Team Red going as Gray. Uh, Safil as Aurora. Craner as Lockwood. And Simajor as the infamous Rask that we've seen so much in this tournament. All right, so you're going for Team Red, Team Trash. That is originally my pick to win, but I got to be devil's advocate here. I'm going for just shoot him this time. And uh, let's see, uh, you got to shave your beard if I win. How about that? <laughs> Cannot do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, turn one. Everybody moves. Every, uh, just shoot him. kind of going on the right side. They're trying to stay out of vision. No vision on anybody just yet. Yeah, none to be seen of. Uh, I know the previous game that we saw, they went. Uh, they all went left. And then the one game that they spread out, which allowed them to immediately catch vision of the enemy team. Uh, it appears Garrison here is just going to go for that might buff. 
center the board and maybe catch some vision on some people. He's sure enough tanky. He could he could take a few turn uh, to land some some vision for Team Blue. Yeah, Helio's priming that black hole onto the garrison. I assume at this point he's going to run and get that might buff and then jump onto somebody. So he's he's got to get vision this turn or the black hole is completely wasted because he wants to jump in and uh, catch a few people, get some dashes out, force them to get away. Oh, I don't know if it's me getting a little lit latency there. All right, so he did find them. So Avaki is in sight in game two yesterday. He was out of sight the whole game. Uh, Garrison looks like he's just going to stay there. And we'll see what happens. It's been in an interesting turn three for sure. Yeah, with Garrison immediately going in with that black hole, it's uh, it's got a nice little stop sign shape there, so it's got a huge area of effect. And it's just a, a really good tactic, you know, doubling up an immediate team base maneuver here. And there's my wall. I'd the love to wall. see the wall. It's the Helio wall, so if Ivaki does not get out of here, he's going to go right through that wall for sure. But he does. He does dash away to his uh, drone area. Rask getting uh, pulled through the wall, so he is scrambled for the next turn. He cannot dash. He can only use his basic ability or any of his catalysts available, which I don't think he wants to use any of those just yet. See, I haven't seen Ellie played um, yet either, but it appears she has some decent range. She's able to put down at least a couple four to five spaces away. And I'm, oh, I'm liking and to see her... Nyx here with Anathomical. He's, you know, staying on the outside of the map. But I don't know if he knows how close he is to that Lockwood. Garrison going in on Ivaki, going hard. He's got the uh, the Rockets Prime, so he gets his 20 damage on the jump. And uh, about, oh my, 21. So he has the mod on his Rockets where if it, the, the fewer people that it hits, the more damage that it does. Rask also taking 34 from the uh, the Knicks way over there like you like it. He is still invisible, so he's out in the open, but they do not know exactly where he is. Rask immediately coming in to perfect uh, to protect Avaki, and what a Rask does best is in the middle of a fight. So we could see uh, tight turn here a little bit, but Avaki and Samozhir have taken a little bit of damage already within turn five. Um, and Hacksaw and Awesome Sauce with free damage just consistently. So it's a 3v2 bout at the bottom left of our board here. Yeah, unfortunately for Ivaki, uh, Rask on Samajor cannot body block either of these shots from uh, from Garrison or L, so it's going to go right through him and hit her anyway. Big thank you to everybody showing up, showing some support. Uh, we do apologize, um, but we're here though. It's just to show the fact sheer support that you guys are able to show us. So thank you. Yeah, speaking of which, this tournament is completely community driven. So if you have an idea or you want to host your own tournament for Atlas Reactor, step up and get involved. Go to the Discord, to the official um, Reddit Discord for Atlas Reactor. Uh, if you go to the Reddit, you should be able to find a link to get into the Discord. You can download the app or just use it on your browser. Get in there. we got a bunch of chat rooms available to uh, communicate, and we have tournament chat as well. But definitely get in there. Set your own up, man. Get it going. we got a lot of stuff coming on in the future, but we want you involved as well. And the more, the merrier. The more things that we have going on, the more people are going to know about Atlas and get involved. So definitely need the support of the community and need the support of the outside individuals as well to uh, take control here and get things done. Yeah, definitely. Don't, don't ever be too shy uh, in a day and age where things are done on the Internet now. Uh, we don't have to leave our houses in all Storm City Hall. We actually can just share something and uh, uh, support with the touch of a button. So, like I said, guys, if you are on Reddit, uh, as Lothan just said, share a post. Mention where we're at, what we're doing. Uh, if you have your own ideas, don't be afraid to do that. Uh, or afraid to partner up or collaborate with anybody else in the community as well. Um, like I would mentioned, Solaris, Pepper, Hellfire had all um, wanted to get this going. And they have all done their, their parts to get this together. And involving me, Lothan's... Like I said, it's it's just it's speaking volumes right now as the you know, even though we don't have a tournament or a game on at the moment, there's still twenty four people in here 
willing to chat, willing to discuss about the game. So thank you again, guys, for just the, the support and uh, bearing with us. So It appears some things happened. People are missing health. Blue has a kill. Oh, Lord. Turn 11. Let's see if we can get some recap here. Hell here. There's an almost down. So is Avaki, but Avaki has his ult and his dash available. Awesome's off having some really good positioning over on the right side. Rask in there with about halfway to his ult. He probably used one already, to be honest. And the Aurora with her ultimate as well off to the left side there. Helio down at the bottom half health with his ult available. So I would expect he's probably going to ult the Garrison to uh, keep him alive right there in the middle. Here comes the street cred. Helio ult taunt and right on top of the Garrison as well. So if he just chases people around, that's going to be doing damage for at least two turns. He could have a mod that does it for three as well. But the... Uh, the dart and the trap comes out Ooh. from uh, Team Trash. Damage falling, but with that shield, he will be able to mitigate a lot of the damage that's going to be coming this round. Big time heal, very much needed for, for Team Trash as well. Heals up uh, himself and the Rask. Looks nice. like the Nyx was trying to Knock finish off the body, but going right through the trap. The garrison gets tossed, goes on air, Rask. Have a nice flight, sir. As again, you can just see the, the the good use of Lockwood's traps that are, if you can use it correctly, as we just saw here, um, the toss trap combo, it totally resets him up for more moves, more positioning, but does keep Ellen in position to stay into the fight, though. So not it's not everything's done yet. Looks like El's trying to find Avaki on Gray. Uh, thinks perhaps flashed into the bottom brush there. So bottom camouflage nodes, whatever the heck they're called. Rask getting some heal off. Turtle Tech coming in from the uh, the Lockwood. And he is ulting as well. Helio's shield comes down predicting the ult. And the Nyx trap, he's going through both. Going to take like a ton of damage a... himself, but he does take out the garrison for sure. Garrison all coming down on the Rask doesn't do all that much, does 40 damage. But the big L alt, my goodness, Rask is bugging out there. <laughs> A little graphical error. Uh, he goes through the wall, takes the L alt, and dies. And so does the Lockwood on Team Trash. So he is almost dead as well down at the bottom of the map. A lot of health pods down there. That could put Red back into a very good position to catch back up. Absolutely, but notice Cranor went through the wall He's on his scrambled. ultimate dash. So he is scrambled. He, he can only use a catalyst dash to get out of this alive. If he even still has it, I have no idea. Turtle Tech coming out from Mavaki absorbs 24 damage through the shield. Here comes the Helio auto attack and takes out Cranor. Cranor returns fire, trades one for one. Great Room comes in, finishes the job. And Sephiel trying to get a little AoE down, but uh Avaki was there. able to pull up a kill for Red, tossing out his reveal, but Anathomical still just behind as a Nyx, doing what a Nyx does best. Staying away from the fight and just picking away and harassing. That was a big time turn though. Um two people going down for the blue side, I believe, that turn. And so that the score three to two in favor of just shoot them. So they are taking on Team Trash and being the victors so far. We got to see what's going on for the future, though. Great drone going over. Great alt going over on Anatomical on the Knicks, but he gets a good double AOE shot off on Sephiel and Avaki. Ras coming in. Smart on the Knicks, not to move, kind of anticipated that ult. But he is in a world of hurt here with the full health, almost ult ready Rask right in his face. That's gonna hurt a bunch. Awesome sauce coming in with a prep blast here. And then you also have, uh, with Rask back into that team fight, uh, he's more than likely, I assume he's going to launch Anathomical through that to try to get some damage off. Um, Garrison and Helio, Team Blue, up top, ready to come back in and re-even out these numbers. Catalyst 
Stash coming out of the Knicks, and Awesome Zoss gets weakened, so that shot doesn't do quite as much as it should have. And you guessed it, the Rast throws the Knicks, but he was already out of danger, so he only takes 20 damage from that. A little bit of repositioning here, the Garrison coming around the left side, trying to get in on somebody. We've got the Aurora from Team Trash, way, way out of position, all by her lonesome, down at the very bottom, off the screen. Uh, and looks like Awesome Sauce has a nice little dash roll, auto uh, basic attack on Ivaki and Craner both. So this could be a big turn for uh, for the blue side. Just shoot him. I'm with you. I agree as well, Monarch. I'm a, I, I enjoy Pup. He's a good pick. Team Blue, well over oh, 1k <laughs> damage already. Yeah, he was, I think he was trying to point out, Ivaki's damage output, super, super low for 16 turns into the game. Less than 200 on a gray. That's terrible, actually. Big time AoE coming out from Kranor gets two people. The drone comes out on the Nyx. And the ultimate dash from the uh, the Rask onto the Nyx as well. Helio returning some fire down on the gray and the Lockwood and as well. Gray goes down. So there's another kill. Four to two for the blue side. Looks like they're handling business today. Yeah, it, it just, I, I feel he put himself in that position. Um, and I feel that was a bad play out of what I've seen out of Avaki, out of the couple games I have seen. Um, but you had to remember, they, they did put Garrison and Helio down. They, they did not remove uh, Retreat back into the Fog of War. They pretty much were sitting right where they respawned back through the next turn. So um, bad, bad maneuvering um, on their part, in my opinion. But Rask is up top, well, definitely Drew turn. trying, using his ult to reassess all of his cooldowns. So, like oh, you had mentioned, though, Aurora's out catalyst, of the way. Sephiel is, is actually getting ready to take a tremendous amount of damage. L used her Might Catalyst. He's, she has the drone damage and her her basic attack damage on there. Plus the Nyx ult coming in. Sephiel is for sure deader than dead. I wish we could see what was going on at the top of the map. I think Garrison launched his ultimate or did something up there. Youch, she is down. Dead about three times over that turn for the Aurora, unfortunately for her. Then, and that is GG game one in favor of just shoot him over Team Trash. So, uh, personally, a little bit of an unexpected turn of events there for uh, for this team, this matchup. But uh, definitely, great game for both sides. Just shoot him, just took it to the house. Exactly, Clarity. It is best of three. Well, OBS hey, is pretty Avaki. easy to use. Hello. How's it going there, brother? Hey. Good game. Um, My superheroes here. A few things went wrong there for you guys. What do you think was your, your major downfall that, that time around? Uh, we played pretty poopy. <laughs> do you guys just that's, think that's uh, about it. not accounting for um, the Garrison and Helio respawn? Um, do you think staying up in there was uh, a bad move, or were you guys just trying to force to force more fights but because i know you guys would have benefited more from staying back and just letting garrison and helio do their thing yeah we just had a lot of mistakes i i didn't turtle on that uh first death and i could have didn't even didn't even think about it yeah it occurs to me a lot of times trying to consider your three team H moves. Of course, you guys can communicate that, plus four enemy moves, and then figure out what you're going to do is uh, a little bit much to think about in that, uh, well, we have 30 seconds in the tournament, but typically about 20 seconds you have to figure that out. So um, definitely hard to do in the heat of the moment, especially with a high stress level of the uh, tournament finals on your hands. Yep. Well, good luck in the next match. I'm pulling for you. Uh, we want to see more matches equals more fun, so we want you to pull out this second game win, brother. All right. Appreciate it. The last match, man, we saw a couple of really good teams going head-to-head. -head. Of course, Team Trash fell up short that time around. I think perhaps it was, in the end, their positioning because what they – I mean, it was hard to see what was going on up top. But uh, the garrison being kind of around the corner on the left-hand side, they uh, couldn't get any. Well, you don't want to attack the tank anyway, but uh, 
they couldn't really get a beat on anybody. We're waiting on this game to begin. Guys in chat, let us know who you think is going to take game number two. Is just shoot him going to take that championship in a sweep, clean sweep over Team Trash? Or is Trash going to push this to a game three and pull out the win in game number two? Let us know now, man. Don't okay, be quiet. Okay, so Avaki is actually, or not Avaki, Team Trash is actually sticking with the same exact team comp with Aurora, Rask, Lockwood, and Gray, while just shoot him is sticking with just about the same comp, except Nyx is banned now, so they've got Lockwood, Ellie. All right, 18 more seconds and we're in this loading screen, getting ready to go. So we have on Just Shoot Him, we have um, one change, the Nyx to the Lockwood. We got L, Helio, Lockwood, and Garrison on the red side, Team Trash. Same team comp for three, four games straight. We got the uh, the Gray, the Aurora, the Rask, and the Lockwood as well. So I think it's all going to come down to uh, black holes through walls or and traps or Rask throws through yeah. traps and yeah. Gray ults. We will definitely see if uh, Team Red has learned their lesson from the last match. Because um, they're going against the exact same comp. So if, as long as they minimize the mistakes from last game and uh, focus on what they know they can do together as a team, I think this will be a really good match. Absolutely. And, of course, I am pulling for Team Trash because I want to see a Game 3, man. I want to see a super, super finals here. I want to see a fantastic Win. finals as well. So it's just all about uh, the community here, guys, and everything. But at the end of the day, we do need a winner. So hopefully... Uh, we see quite the bout here. Yeah, I wish we could just uh, do like a best of 1,000 finals here, but we got to <laughs> have a winner eventually. So well, I don't think that's going to be something that will be on the docket for the future. Looks like same strategy, same opening strat for just shoot him. Go off to the right side, stay out of vision, keep, uh, keep close together so you can uh, take on the wrath as soon as he shows his face. I would be really, really surprised if Team Trash does the same uh, really hard sprint into the enemy side of the map as we saw the last game, because uh, they really got tore up as soon as they got in there last time. Here we go turn two. Rocket's being primed by the garrison. He wants to get in there next turn. And here comes the black hole with the unstoppable mod. Very, very good mod. I use that one myself. I love it. It just it just ensures that he's able to get the damage off. You know, he it's not going to be it's basically a, a self root in a sense. You can't you can't be thrown, you can't be you you're pretty much just stationary as to where you are. And as what it says, you're unstoppable. Can't be thrown, can't be blind, Absolutely. You can't be stunned, can't be... Can you be scrambled? Probably not. I don't know. Can Can you be scrambled if you have that I, on there? Because scrambled is a really pretty rare... Question. What do you guys think, man? Rare buff, you know, rare buff. Because it, you know, there's only two champs that have it. It's like Helio's anticipating the Rasp dash, putting the wall up right in the middle where the Might mod is. Uh, Ras did pick that up, I believe. Garrison doesn't see anybody, so he can't jump on anybody. I think the black hole is going to be wasted for this turn. The team trash did stay back this time, so maybe they learned their lesson from last game. Do not charge into just shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't go pet the Rask. Don't feed the Rask, kids. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, but it looks like they're they're setting up here. We're gonna have a, a lefty right fight. You know, a little old school tactical turn based action. So Major very wisely not going to that side of the map. He probably figured that wall was coming in somewhere, or maybe the garrison was going to jump on him, put him through the wall. But uh, he didn't move at all, so he's just trying to gauge where the enemy team is, trying to get the best play he possibly can. We see the last known location of the Aurora up there at the top. I think that's where Garrison's going to pound down on, try to get some damage in on her. Oh, Lockwood no. Trap coming out. Oh, there, there it is. All right, so if Rask, I don't think he's going to leap through that Helio wall, even though it it, it is his own. I don't think that's going to happen. 
Oh, Ooh, finally big, Aurora big, able to benefit Aurora. being near a teammate. Avaki on the gray, getting some uh, some nice damage in on the the L, who does not roll this turn. But Rast runs right through the, the Lockwood trap, takes 40 damage for basically nothing. And now it is a cluster right in the top side of the map. Looks like L has a huge shot here. If she can get all four people in there, that would be amazing. I don't think she uh, has the width on that basic attack to get all four. Uh, perhaps trying to get Devaki more than anybody else. She should be able to get all, like, Avaki, Safil, and Craner with the angle that she's trying to pull off. But the length of the spell Notice. only goes as far as the, uh, the animation persists, so... I think she's just going to go for time Weekend and, and Mike coming in out of Aurora. Black Hole going back down onto Garrison. So he is unstoppable again. Dash coming in from the Rask onto the L. She had a little bit of a shield from the uh, from herself, I believe. Or maybe the, uh, the Helio got her with that. Punch coming in from the, the uh, Garrison. Drone hitting three. So major drone damage that time. 20 damage on the L from that. L with some good damage on the gray, and she has the auto follow on the gray, so she wants to keep that gray on lockdown, mm -hmm. make Avaki nervous, make him burn his dash. This garrison is a ticking time bomb, and he has three that he's going to catch with it. But Awesome Sauce is a little low, um, low enough to where he potentially could die if he makes a wrong move here. That's a very good point. He took a ton of damage last turn, and... Um, Let's see, well, if uh, the Lockwood probably is going to dash out of here, perhaps the field as well. But um, if they don't, they're going to be going through that black hole, taking 10 damage from that, getting displaced. Turtle Tech coming out on the roar. Looks like she's going to stay put, eat the uh, the wall damage. No. So Turtle Tech Garrison and flashed Palace over. Dash. Or that was the. Oh. Looks like you got a little bit of a freeze here. Oh, there we go. Ah, here we are. So Elle is a... reacting here. She's going to put down some damage on Safil. But Craner's right behind time... Helio now. Yeah, that was a big time mistake on the garrison because he, he catalyst flashed past the Aurora, I guess trying to anticipate her doing the same thing. And she just stayed put, so she didn't take the uh, the damage from the wall. She's not scrambled at all, and uh, the L is in a really bad position here. That's one time use as well. And if Amico is going to grab that energy, maybe he might be able to pull off a quick early ult. Nice rough in the lockwood down at the bottom of the map. Excellent position for him. The Aurora taking significant damage. Ooh. Cranor getting one person in the AoE and the Rask battering on the Helio. The drone damage coming down as well. And Avaki shooting him for 34. Helio is in some a world of hurt right now. Yeah, that is a 3v1 trade. Awesome Zoss able to get that health pack, so that's going to be really, really great for him. Helio really in, in in some trouble here he's still under the drone i think uh, the rask took his position where he wanted to go he's still under the drone rask is right next to him he's got to get out of here he's probably going down this turn at least he's in a bit of a better position than what he was prior um he has backed off away from that 3v1 exchange but as he dashes into the shroud and lets out a 34 damage pop to aurora Sephiel and Aurora taking tremendous damage here, but the missiles do not hit. Rask getting some good damage off, and the Lockwood shooting the garrison. Not really the ideal target, but it looks like that's the only target he had available to him. They could have shot the enemy Lockwood, but it would have been behind cover. So uh, 17 damage compared to 34 on somebody, I'd pick the 34 every time just as well. Aurora here, if she still has her Catalyst Flash, which I think she does, she's got to use it here, or she's going to go down for sure. 
elf standing in that ion cloud, though, going to take 20 damage if she can't get out of it. And here's that the, move uh, again phase. that she just did. It's the, the dash attack. Absolutely. So she's going to get out of the ion cloud, not take the additional 20 damage. So good on that. Helio, turtle teching and shielding himself, getting tremendous amounts of uh, basic health there. Effective health, I should say. Lockwood throwing down the trap from uh, from just shoot him. Oh, big time. Garrison all coming down. 80 damage total, 40 on each person. Rast doesn't care, though. He's going to yeah. swipe the Helio. All the cooldowns are refreshed, so nice. he's ready to dash back in and do it all over again. And the big time Grail locking Helio down. He takes 30 damage from that, and he is rooted right there under the drone. Remember, he doesn't have his Catalyst Flash anymore, and that's his only escape mechanism. So he is done ski unless something major happens here. Looks like Ras is going to take a little bit of damage here from Garrison and Osmosauce. But Lockwood's in a really good position. He has walls. He can. I see he's going to be able to bounce a shot. Off of that wall, just right of Rask, and might be able to hit Garrison. Lost and Sauce is going to move way back down to kind of maybe move towards the friendly Lockwood. Maybe try to pull off to support Helio. Looks like a dash coming out for the blue side Lockwood. Anticipating red side Lockwood using the dole. Here comes a street cred from Awesome Sauce from the L, getting that uh, taunted basic attack going down. Helio done for this turn. The drone damage plus um, the Lockwood AoE taking him out. We have our first blood, finally. Garrison gets tossed away from the Aurora. He probably wanted to go after her because they did see where she was as soon as she uh, threw down an ability last turn. The L here is in a good position not to take damage, but the only unfortunate side effect is she can't do any either. So kind of a, a downfall. You always want your firepower to be able to dish out some damage every single turn you possibly can. Yeah, that's one thing that we, we haven't seen is that uh, Ellie's probably been the, the most closest to being able to constantly put on damage and the enemy Lockwood. But great every turn has had that, that drone out, so that's... I feel red's been a little bit more consistent in the damage. No, she actually does get the uh, the drone damage out. Here comes the big time street cradle from Sephil. Gets the healing, gets the damage down. Drone coming in on top of Awesome Sauce on the L. And she is walking right into a an Aurora and a Rask. So uh, big time trouble for the L this turn. Well, the Vagi in the back, he's kind of done a lot better this game, staying away from getting hit every turn. Um, he's just able to throw out his drone, you know, stay consistent with his damage, which is good. This is what I've wanted to see out of uh, good Blast characters. Um, Rask, every time I've seen Rask play, he's constantly just an annoyance. Oh, oh, got my cooldowns back. You can just dash around and keep it going. <laughs> oh, we got the... Uh... The weekend and reveal, and here comes Anatomical with the Lockwood Alt right through Aurora. Mega dash and for mega the... damage. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sephiel may be able to pull out a little bit of an AOE there. Cranor with the whiff, and the body block for from Lockwood saving the garrison's life, basically. We have a one-one trade here, so it's two to one. Red <laughs> fight's not over yet. Rask is still on the move. Yeah, at turn 13, Trash has the advantage. Uh, and uh, Garrison is probably about to go down here, so it's it may be a 3-1 to one advantage after this turn's over. Although Garrison does have some health pots on the ground, he might be able to sneak a few in. Stay alive for a little bit longer. I think those are only worth, what, about 15 a piece. Oh, here comes the big alt from the Lockwood. He just goes down. Unfortunate. Trash takes the lead 3 to 2. Turn 14, getting ready to start. Osmond Sauce on the L, respawning. Looks 
looks like the Helios back in the action as well. Uh, Anatomical in a serious bit of trouble here. I don't think he has dash available. No, two turns left until his dash is up. He just has to pray that his Helio can keep him healthy until he can get out of there. Bugsy Mogus is, uh, what are these comms? Did I miss a patch or something? Because he's not seeing a quirk in the game, and uh, he's seeing a gray Ellie and a Garrison. So I'm happy. I get to see my Garrison in a Big time a Helio match, so. coming out on Anatomical. So actually right now he wants to stay on right next to people. But uh, as a squishy target, probably not the best plan anyway. They've already burned down that shield as well with the Rask and the Lockwood. But the Rask is almost dead. And, and you said earlier he does not have the mod to continue that another turn, so it's going to be off of him at the start of next turn. Or it, it lasts for two turns. Uh, if he heads the mod, it, it would lasts go for, for three. two turns, right? Yep. Absolutely. L coming in with a dash shoot here. Uh, should be able to get Rask, finish that up, and maybe even up the numbers a little I bit. I would assume so because Rask did use his catalyst. Uh, no, oh, no, that was Garrison. I don't know if he has it available. If he does, he can avoid this damage entirely, but he will miss the health pot. So it's it's kind of a win and a loss there. Lockwood getting another Helio shield. He is right next to Aurora, but uh, the weakening coming in on the Lockwood. Dash coming out from the uh, from Cranor's Lockwood. And as predicted, Elg does get the kill. Well, he does use his ult right before he goes. So either way, he'll come back with cooldown. Big time damage coming in. Helio and Lockwood laying it down, laying down the hurt on the Gray and the Aurora there. But Elle gets flung at the last second. She's a little bit out of position now. But it looks like Gray is on the retreat, and Aurora is way out of position at this point. No dash catalyst available, I don't think. Yeah, of course. That's good, guys. Uh, talk about it. Incorporate the opinion. Um... Make sure you guys are creating discussion about the match, creating discussion about the community. So, uh, like I said, I know it's thrown a few people off um, that, yeah, we did see them swap the Nyx out for the Lockwood. And it, in my opinion, Lockwood's just more more practical for consistent damage. So, But Aurora's still in the back. Else, it's going to be a 2v1 here. Yeah, the Grey pieced out. She said, well, good luck, my friend. Uh, fight those two for me. I'm I'm leaving. Helio does have line of sight on the gray, and actually, Garrison. Where did that 26 damage. damage come from? Was that the Lockwood bounced it? Nope. He's just now shooting. So uh, Aurora is going to be taking a lot of damage this turn. She already did. There we go. Lockwood staying right on top of her, and the Garrison as well. So it's a three v one at the top. Sephiel in a world of hurt at this point. Gonna be some wombo combos this round. Just shoot him might tie the game at this point, but the Lockwood is 36 HP. You see him right at the right hand side of the screen. Avaki is right next to him. So there's not gonna be a cover bonus because they're face to face. So Avaki may be able to take him down this turn if he doesn't get out or doesn't have a shield. Yeah, she is definitely well, going to be taking some damage this again. turn. She's, I don't... Oh, Helio <laughs> goes down, so if they do not get... Well, yeah, they're going to get uh, Sephiel as well. So they trade one for one. They stay in the lead. The red team, Team Trash, retains their one kill lead. Turn 18 coming up. Only two turns left to go for just shoot him to, to tie this up or take the lead. At this point, does Red just uh, hightail it, pull the old football knee, or do they keep the fight going? Honestly, they could, because they're out of vision. Um, of course, they might not know that, but they're out of vision, basically, except to Major. Of course, he doesn't care. He's Rask. Um, they could just sit there and simply take the, uh, take the knee, as you put it last time. Reveal coming in. As you see, L fired uh, in that direction. It was just in case she might have moved out of the way or dash. It was a, a predict shot, which is fine. Ooh. 
they all sprinted to that side of the map. They want to get this right now. They want to tie the game up or take the lead immediately. Looks like L alt's coming out. That's going to be huge if they don't dash or get out of the way. As well, the Lockwood has alt. The garrison is dashing or on the, on the Craner, so we're going to see some damage here. Potentially, their best bet is probably to go for Craner if they do want to tie this up. Yeah, the other two full HP targets, Craner about half, so definitely that's going to be the uh, the, the bloodthirsty bloodlust coming in. Might come down from L. Craner, Craner flashed right there, so he's not going to take any damage this turn. But he's still in uh, Hell's ult, but with the flash over the wall, he gets the wall protection. Absolutely amazing play from Crane or predicting all that damage coming down on him and getting out of the way. So he's going to eat that black hole this turn, but it's only 10 damage from that. So it's a lot more than 40 from Gray and 20 from the garrison jump. Or I'm sorry, 40 from L and, and 20 from the garrison. Looks like Awesome Sauce can only hit the enemy Gray, who is also full health. She dashed last turn as well, so she avoided the uh, the L ult herself. Crane is going to take some damage here. Oh, there's the Lockwood trap. Trying to stick him in there no matter which way he wants to go. He's going to be hurt. And he does dash out and take 40 damage, but he has the uh, the second wind burning. But he gets away, survives. Gray flashed as well. This is the final turn, so nothing happens. Team Trash, GG. They're going to take game number two and tie this series up. we got a game three, boys. Should we have it any other way? A finals? An, an actual finals? So let's take another five minute and let's see what, let, let's discuss what happened here. Because my, my chat's been like the entire time uh, they're they're thrown off by the comps <laughs> we're seeing they're thrown off by you know what i mean what's going on so um thanks again for everybody I joining us i can't wait us. to read the chat in the vod when i watch it later i'm gonna i'm gonna check out the chat in the vod later guys so i'm gonna love that awesome sauce putting in the global chat in game game three it is game three indeed i am super excited to see this one tight games um just shoot him had a pretty dominant performance game number one but team trash learned from their previous mistake game number two pulled out the win they were dominant in that performance as well it was a little bit closer but they were very very superior kept all their catalysts for the last turn making sure they didn't die so excellent play by them superior positioning in my opinion won them that game uh having this go into a three game final I, I think this is the the best outcome that we could have had. It's gonna it's gonna be really nice seeing um, fresh picks in the final round. Are we gonna see the same builds? Are they gonna throw out their best here to kind of finish it up? Who knows? Like like I I don't I I expected Avaki to go Nyx hasn't. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still Good. seeing a Gary and Helio Definitely. combo in in the finals, which you know I I wanted to see in the, to begin with was a Garrison Helio combo, which I've been seeing, which I feel makes up for the lack of cork. But we could see a cork this round. You know, it just kind of depends on the reserves that come in, um, and potentially how you know the tournament meta could change in the future. If there could be potential ban picks in the future, like maybe one reserve, one ban pick. So it's just not kind of all that goes on what the community wants to see because I think currently rules are set up by the community. So if you guys are wanting Absolutely. to know yeah. uh, a little bit of how Atlas uh, Reactor um, competitive works, uh, in my opinion, I believe, uh, we'll have two teams. They will bout each other out on uh, any given map. Um, I believe they get to know the map prior to the game so they can assess uh, what type of build or what type of maneuvers they'd like to do. Um, it's 20, 20, rounds, 20 rounds, first to five kills. They get one reserve pick, so they can uh, to keep one like, hey, I want to play this champion, I want to play this champion. So both sides can reserve the same champion like we saw in the first day, we saw two corks being reserved. I cannot wait to see this game, man. I cannot wait. And I gotta tell you, I would, this time around, I would expect the reserve of Aurora, to be completely honest. I would force them into something different. Um, that, that support has been really 
really good on the knockbacks so far. The last uh, the last series in this one, and the heels I... have been pretty clutch. Maybe we'll see the double quark for the final match. Yeah, we, we didn't get to see a quark out of either game, so I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm kind of at a loss for words. That, you know, like the finals is good. You know, the everything. You know, the community's here backing it up. We got awesome sauce in chat. Thank you again for letting us use your uh, your stream, my friend. Big props to both teams for getting this far, man. That only one of them got a buy out of the first round, but they had to fight and claw their way here to the finals. Just shoot them. They definitely earned it, both teams. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy this turned out to be a, a game three coming out because we, we didn't want to see a one-sided stomp here, boys. Let's let's admit that at least. We wanted to see a hard-fought victory for this final. Yeah, as much as I like to see people get Rick rolled, um, th this is this is – no better outcome going in, into game three we might see, see some different picks than what, than what we normally would so um but we are going to be switching over and it appears um i'm seeing a nyx gray helio out of uh awesome sauce's side so we got just shoot him basically cinderella story here i mean i thought going into this i looked at the team rosters coming into the finals i saw trash who were my pick to win it all from the very beginning. And I saw just shoot him's roster of people who I've never heard of before. And I said, wow, this is going to be the biggest stomp I've ever seen in my life. And I'm so happy. This is the first time I've been really, really pleased to be completely wrong about everything. So I'm re mass props to these guys. I mean, uh, obviously just because I, I don't recognize their names doesn't mean they're no good. Clearly they're at the top of the charts from both teams and they are going with another Nyx reserve on both sides banning him out again both Nyx again okay excellent so no Nyx no sniper no sniperino through the walls for the Nyx ult I love it it's gonna have to be a little bit more strategy involved the team, the team comps. We're seeing an Asana, and she's staying. able to put shields down, like everywhere. Multiple, multiple team uh, members, and with Helio, we might see a lot of damage being mitigated this game. But I'm seeing Gremo Incorporated pop. Oh man, <laughs> Gremo's just gonna have traps all over the field. Uh, he's more than likely gonna be harassing all game. All game. Last time I saw Gremo, it was just them both laughing, throwing out traps, and throwing out bombs. All game. What do you got for team comps for Celerus? They're actually sticking with the same exact reserves and the same exact team comps. Oh my goodness. Same reserves, same team comps, both going in with confidence. Say it now, ladies and gentlemen, I am disappointed in Avaki's Team Trash because they told us yesterday after their win, after their clean sweep of the semifinal match they told me they had something they wanted to try in the finals. It was a little bit different and they have stuck to the same team comp now for five games in a row. I am in tears my friends, in tears. Well, if something's working like you said, don't, you know what I mean? If it's broke, if it's not broke, don't fix it, but um, it, it appears that maybe the underdogs have them on their have them on the the ropes. You know, they they don't want to switch up. They don't they don't want to try something a little different. They want to stick with what they've been doing. Cause, yeah, they got to be a little bit worried now. Just shoot them took a game off of them, the favorites to win the tournament. And my goodness, they they have to be a little bit worried now. I mean, one positional error, one turn of a positional mistake, and they may lose the tournament. Okay, there we are. Um, well, it, I'm not seeing what, what I saw. Um, they are sticking with the same comp and build. I thought I was going to see Gremo. I was a little excited, but it appears like they might have made the call. Let's let's not do. Let's not. You know, they caught us last game. They can beat us. Let's let's beat them at their own game. So it appears they have them on the ropes. I'm not kidding. It's their. If, if they didn't, I mean, they would have tried something different, right? They're, they're sticking with the same Absolutely. comp.
Yeah, I cannot wait. Here we go into the loading screen here in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the same team comps. Awesome Sauce on L, Agrian on Helio, Hacksaw76 on Garrison, and Anathomical on Lockwood for the blue side on Team Just Shoot 'em and Team Trash, of course, the red side. Cranor on Lockwood, Samajor on Rask, Avaki on Gray, and Sephiel on Aurora. Here we go. Game three of the finals. Final match of the game. Final match of the series. Who is going to pull it out? And we're at the shipyard here. Right off the bat, let's see what uh, Awesome Sauce and the crew here attempt to do. Are they awesome just going to Awesome Sauce, you need to have a little uh, seizure in the movement phase, the decision phase, uh, clicking all over the map. They, they do ping on the map, and pretty much it, from what I understood, is like, hey, be wary about that middle. Let's, let's, uh, they're probably going to be able to hit, hit might buff here, and also be able to be next for second round for immediate engage. They're all going left. Oh, they're switching it up. They're flipping the script on them. Team Trash, do they see through this strategy? Looks like Garrison's going deep again, going straight across the middle of the map onto the enemy side of the, uh, the, the map. He's probably going to have that black hole on him again, or maybe they hold it this time. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're going to hold the, the black hole this time until they actually see somebody. Yeah, they, they, they rushed into it, I think, that first game. Um, but you never know. Just because you don't have vision doesn't mean they're not just on the other side of that fog of war. Um, it's always a potential there. So it's it's always best to kind of play a little safe, which I, I kind of seen they're doing. They're all going left. They're bunching up. They're they're not gonna like, hey, let's not get caught out again. Um, but I, I still like that they didn't throw any like walls down or anything. They didn't want to give up their positions. So they're they're staying in the I, I, those are considered bushes. Well, they're called something else that I cannot recall it off the top of my head right now so i, I apologize to uh to try on i can't recall what their what their actual name is camouflage tiles perhaps i don't know really appreciate that they gave me the chance to just stream the tournament and uh try as i might uh only playing the game about two days to keep up and uh learn i'm being uh carried heavily by lothans and his game knowledge so um I'm digging the game already. The, the competitive aspect of this is uh, it's keeping me focused. If I wasn't, I would have been asleep by now. But no, I'm staying focused. It's interesting me. So it's nice to see, like we had said, we didn't see two quarks uh, coming into the finals. It's an entirely different matchup. I assume they were going to have another RAS. He's been doing so well. But um, it just comes back to the, you know, the community support uh, 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 that everyone's giving. Uh, thanks again to Vigilant Addiction. Um, I was able to, to use our venue for the tournament. So... Um, I think he cut stream and he's going to go back live. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for VA for hosting this, uh, allowing us to uh, utilize some of the resources here. Uh, one of them being Mr. McCoy. Uh, very, very good resource to have available. Now, I wouldn't say I'm carrying you entirely, my friend. You're doing a very fine job yourself. So very happy to be here sitting next to you, uh, metaphorically speaking, of course. Hey, I'll put my arm around you. <laughs> we'll, we'll just Photoshop <laughs> you in right here. I'm, I'm rubbing my my beard against your beard, and we're having a beard moment. But no, guys, this is pretty uh, amazing. I'm I'm having a good time. Uh, that Tryon's able. Um, they they developed a great game that's just immediately attracted so many people. I mean, just just to sh sheer numbers, we had we had thirty people in here. Not not many of you knew who I am, and I appreciate all the follows that I've gotten. Thank you so much. Um, I I'd give you my spiel about me, but uh, it's different every time. So uh, just thanks for being here. Thanks again to Tryon um, and uh, the community at Atlas Reactor. Uh, if you guys do see uh, Tryon Worlds in chat, I believe that's Blue Muzzy, the community manager. Um, so thanks again. Um, everybody, uh, Kaitsu's here, Toro's here, Woolbuster's here, uh, people from Tryon, thank you so much for, uh, for being here. We're, we're trying to get this going. Um, we are back in the game. Turn number seven, zero kills to zero kills. Looks like, uh, Awesome Sauce is in a little bit of trouble with some major on Rask right in front of his face. Cranor, Sephiel on the left side. Cranor, or Cranor with the Lockwood already. 
He must have been doing some work in the uh, downtime we had. Yeah, they must have. Uh, not too much has gone on, though. Nobody's dead, uh, thankfully. So we do get to see how they're going to maneuver um, the plays in. But Awesome Sauce is in a bad position here. He's getting thrown around. Awesome Sauce is done for. Takes two two basic attacks from the uh, Firepowers and a Rask swipe and goes down. So that's the first kill of the game. First blood going to... Uh, yeah, that's Team Trash on the red side once again. So definitely getting an early advantage team turn seven taking somebody out looks like anatomical on the lockwood for just shoot him anticipating the uh, enemy lockwood from craner his alt coming in he's going to dash to the uh to the energy buff get behind some cover we had some atlas inception going on there which is perfectly fine <laughs> And there's no alt from Cranor, so he holds it, bluffs him completely, gets the dash out of the, the lock with there, but he now has his alt as well. Sephiel on Aurora throw down that Ion Cloud, getting 20 damage out on the garrison, but uh, he immediately runs out of that. He does have his rockets primed and ready to fire. And the L respawns way off in the corner. Pretty spread out so far. The uh, Team Trash kind of in the middle of the map. You just shoot them all around the outside. So uh, maybe Team Trash is about to get uh, about to get surrounded here. Yeah, of course. Uh, Garrison immediately came to, to the support um, once they did have their, their fallen ally. But it's it they're, they're on opposing sides. Helio and Gray are on the opposing sides with L just finally spawning in. Uh, Garrison appears just going to go immediately for the Aurora here start returning some damage oh helio wall coming down right in front of the lockwood who goes through it both lockwoods going down and aurora taking some heavy damage as well does um Agian on the helio he is almost done for already if the cover wasn't there he would have been down this turn as well so yeah, aurora I almost totally taking fatal there. damage too if that helio wall was not there he was uh probably gonna be down but he scrambled this next turn as well in a sense called Silence. Uh, that's what it looks like to me is Silence. It looks like the old Final Fantasy II Silence bubble when you're playing. So uh, it's nice to know that it causes him scrambled. So it's it's easy to understand that, you know, hey, he's Silence. He can't use any of his spells, any of his abilities. But you have to understand Rask here, I believe, has the Might buff? Or is that that's not unstoppable? Yeah, he does. He that's does. the Might buff. He so did. he's going to do some extra damage know. here. If he does, you think, was he able to throw the, uh... Ray? from from that cover i don't recall but i do know uh that they kind of knew where the aurora was so she might go down as well they just need a few more little butt touches on her to take her out breathe on her and she'll fall over she did heal herself for uh, 30 i believe that turn oh big time garrison all coming down hitting two members but not taking anyone down but that's a, that's 15 <laughs> health per per shot and there's little, those little health globes from his ultimate so a lot of healing there available if they need it the helio needs it desperately but i think he is pretty much done for avaki has eyes on him and uh he may be going down this turn Helio is in a bad spot as well, with only 35 health remaining. Uh, don't know if he's going to charge up his shield. Uh, I assume he would. Um, he's going to be able to either... he He's dead next turn. I believe Lock, Craner, and Avaki can both reach him. But I know definitely oh, we're gonna Avaki have, can. We're going to have perfect damage coming down on the Lockwood. 15, and then L's going to finish him off there with 17 behind the cover. Lockwood goes down, but so... Oh, almost! Helio almost goes down. Sephiel coming in with the with the ultimate. Is this going to do it? It is! It's going to take Helio out and keep the trash Lockwood alive. Cranor survives amazingly. Yeah, of course. That was uh, what, what you like to call the street cred ultimate and does drop Helio. So it's 2-0 red leading. But Blue's ready here to answer immediately by trying to put down Craner. Yeah, Team Trash kind of asserting their dominance in this match so far, but uh, don't count just shoot him out just yet. 
They have plenty of turns, eight more turns left to uh, either tie this up or take the lead. Critical point right now, and I, I'm, I'm really, really uh, sad over here that we have the uh, buffering issue going on right now. Cranor with 10 HP, really in a bad spot. He's surrounded right now by the uh, the L with ult available, and the garrison who can just you know punch him right in the face for 30 damage. So. Um, not much he can do about it. And as well, the enemy Lockwood is has eyes on him as well, and has eyes on Ivaki with his alt on the gray. Of the year. <laughs> Looks like just shoot him, gets one kill, probably took out Kringor, but Awesome's Zoss is in a world of hurt. She just took the gray alt and was thrown through the wall of it by the Rask. So, uh, does have a little bit of a shield on him, does have his ultimate ready, but uh, is he able to survive on the L? Yeah, Blue was really, able to pick really... up a kill here, so I assume that they did kill Craner. Yep, they definitely did. Yeah, Craner is off the off the map right now. It would be kind of devastating if Awesome Sauce goes down as the L, but here comes the Helio Shield, going to save the day once again. Taking the shot from Gray. Helio hey, Wall yeah. coming down to uh, block Gray from running away from the team. Rask coming in with a big time dash onto the uh, the Lockwood who is revealed. Aurora with the uh, the big AoE there, getting some more damage on the L. Here comes the big time L Ooh. alt. Boom! Thirty damage for Rask and Gray. And they're knocked down, so their um, their turns that whatever the turn they were going to have is pretty much canceled. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, they don't get any movement because they got thrown down. And uh, some major on Rask just used his dash to get over to that spot, so he can't dash back into it. Awesome Sauce in a world of hurt here, standing on the Ion Cloud. Going to take 20 damage for sure this turn. He's got to hope that Helio has another shield for him, or this may be uh, fatality damage coming in. Yeah, I see Garrison just locking himself on to uh, Sophia as well. He, she is going nowhere. He's not going to let her get out of her sight. He, they need to tie this game up, and I believe they're going to do so, and they're not going to let it slip out this time. So it, it's nice to know that what we're seeing is we're going to have a really good bout. Next five turns are going to be very interesting. Hacksaw on the Garrison taking a bit of damage there, but gets the Rockets down. Cover bonus on the Rockets is kind of weird, but he gets the cover bonus on the Aurora. Almost takes down the Rask, and look at that healing for L. 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. Above half health now, and was almost dead the turn before. A very good positioning with, with the, uh, the ult that he threw down to grab all that health to keep him in the fight, to keep the pressure coming. Because you got to remember, there's only four turns remaining. You have to uh, utilize your, your steps and where you are. Yeah, they have got to take out some Major here, or he's just going to be able to heal himself back up using one of his abilities. He may have it this time, but 34 damage is coming down from Awesome Sauce's L on him right now, so it's not going to be enough, even if he tries to heal himself. No, the black hole coming in, and Safil hasn't moved again, so she's definitely in a bad position here. When she flashes out, oh. we get the Rask kill in, so now it's tied up 2-2. Two -two. Rask going down 2-2, two -to -two, turn 17 coming up. Gray getting a good pot shot off on the garrison with the black hole on him he is body blocking good for the l but they can't body block that one Cranor coming back respawning doing some work right away if it weren't for the health glo globes that she picked up l would be dunsky already and now they have sephiel on the back foot sephiel is stuck there cannot get out of this damage so um awesome sauce simply has to survive so they could pick up this kill on the um, on the Aurora, and uh, and try to win the game. Try to play keep away with the L. Yeah, so feels in a bad spot. She's uh, she's gonna be damage sandwiched here, uh, but Gray isn't too far. I don't know if Garrison knows that Gray's behind the wall or if uh, she's even further into the shroud. Because um, like you said, but he does come in and lands it. So feel is down. Big time Lockwood ult as well. Gray is just about dead, but 
L taking 20 damage from the the death throes of Aurora. She's trying to put out some damage as she dies. Gets 20 down on the L, almost takes her out. And Aurora is deader than dead. Sprawled down on the ground. Here comes the black hole, locking Avaki down. Could they pull this one out, ladies and gentlemen? It's all going to come down to can L roll out of this ion cloud and survive or not? They have if not, awesome sauce moves. Uh, I believe that's. <laughs> Don't move, awesome. <laughs> he's going to definitely die here. And Ed, Ed he's proceeding yep. to move. So it's well, definitely if... should tie up here 3 3, right? Oh, definitely. And even if he does just stand there, he takes the. 20 damage anyway so definitely he is done ski right now the only thing that would have saved him was the catalyst dash or his roll ability to get out of that iron cloud in time looks like a shield coming down in the garrison lockwood in a bit of trouble as well but two dashes coming out lockwood and gray both getting out of danger there for team trash but a nice little uh nice little death throw from l as well anatomical on on lockwood hitting nobody the rocket coming in hitting the gray for damage. 21 damage. Tr tremendous damage. So Team Trash ties it up for a turn 18. It's coming down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. This is getting super exciting for me. I can't... I I hope you guys are really into this. Just yeah, like I hope you guys are enjoying this because Rask is back into play and we have two blue that are definitely going to be going down here. Avaki is probably going to take critical damage this turn. So they want to trade back. They probably want to try to take out Garrison or Lockwood, but they they might not even know where Lockwood is, to be honest. This is huge. Probably have a general two, idea. Two attackers at the same health on the final two, two turns. Oh, a huge heal coming out from, from I think, uh, Sepfiel on the Aurora, saving the day, keeping Avaki alive. Big time ultimate coming in from Cranor's Lockwood, killing Garrison. Street cred, auto attack from the Helio, but she got healed for 40 damage. Keeps her alive, even through the mighted basic attack from Lockwood, doing 42. Helio might even go down this turn as well. Yes, Garrison is down. That is game over. I can't believe it. Trash came back and uh, and and that pulled heal, it off. That heal was uh, game deciding. Oh, we have one more turn. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Got too excited, my goodness. But can they do anything to anybody this turn? I can't awesome really Sauce see does have her uh, his uh, roll, his, his dash fire. So uh, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough damage to you know what I mean to to put Gray down. I'm just curious. They're calling the GG in the all chat in game, so they must know something. We oh. Don't. Here he goes, Helio. Does Gray go down. goes down. Helio lives. If he survives this. Oh, with the rascal. That, oh, there it is. is. There oh, it is, folks. Crash retains their lead. And if that didn't make matters worse, the uh, Aurora coming in with... Oh, oh saves Avaki. 6-3. Oh, Good game. Oh, my goodness. Good game. GG. Well done, both teams. Unfortunately for Just Shoot em, Team Trash takes the win in game number three of the tournament finals. They are the champions of the third Atlas Reactor Community Run Tournaments. Congratulations yeah. to Avaki. Congrats to, Major, to the... And Seth 